Hello, everybody. Welcome to our webinar. My name is David Nicoletti, and I'm Marketing Manager for Industrial Controls. Industrial Controls has been providing training classes in our 18 physical locations for the past 30 years. And now, since our customers are so widely distributed across the country, we've started doing these online. Today's webinar is on Outdoor Reset, and it's our first uh, live webinar. Representing Industrial Controls today, we have PJ. PJ has been in the commercial HVAC business for about 20 years, and he opened our Boston branch about two years ago with much success. He was involved with the development of the new T775 and beta testing of it. Representing Honeywell, we have Zenobia. Uh, Zenobia has been Honeywell's product specialist for sensors and remote temperature controllers since 2007. She has a degree in mechanical engineering and an MBA. At this time, I pass the presentation to PJ. Okay, thank you, David, and welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Um, and as he said, I am the branch manager out here in the Boston area in Stoughton, Massachusetts. You can see my dot there in Massachusetts. And, uh, and actually, David's broadcasting from New Jersey, our headquarters. And what we plan to cover today will be a few things. We'll get, we only have a half hour, so we need to move fairly quickly. But hopefully um, you get something out of it and we don't go too quick. And also, um, your questions, feel free to ask your questions online. And David will um, accumulate those throughout the seminar. And at the end, we'll, we'll be glad to answer those. But anyway, um, we're going to start off by talking about what is actually what is Outdoor Reset. And you know, what is it and how does it work? Secondly, we're going to be talking about the benefits of it. And then third, we're going to talk about what, which, and why do we use this T775. So which one do we use? What do we use? You know, is it outdoor reset? What is it? And why would you use a T7 set? Hopefully those questions will be answered. And then at the end, we're going to go kind of quick through that, but T775 has an awful lot of applications, other models that are involved, and we'll touch on those real quickly. And then we're going to end with questions. I want to point out, we're saying the T775, that's the Honeywell controller. It's the part number on it. It's been around for a long time, and it has been recently uh, redesigned and released. Um, and we're going to concentrate more today on that reset model. So let's talk about what is reset control. Well, it's a, we base the boiler's water temperature based on outdoor air temperature. Um, so it's pretty basic in that as the temperature outside goes up, we tend to drop our boiler temperature down. Typically, a boiler will run at about 180 degrees upwards on the coldest day. And on its warmest day, we could run it at its minimum uh, all the way down to whatever you'd like, down to, say, 120. So on those warmer days, you don't need as much hot water. It creates for a more comfortable building. And obviously, when we reduce the heat, we're reducing the energy cost. So. Moving on. The benefits of that, of course, is energy savings, right? Um, and energy savings between 5 and 15 percent. Now, that is really um, depending on the building, of course, and how much use. Um, and what is the, how tight is the building? What is its heat loss? But um, in general, you can save. I've seen these typically from a year to two year payback, uh, depending on the system. So they're really useful in saving money and, and creating um, actually more comfortable control. You can use them on both conventional condensing boilers. Um, it does improve the indoor comfort, like I talked about, and obviously reduces CO2 emissions because now our power plants, our heating plants, don't have to create so many emissions into the atmosphere because we're not using as much energy. So it all turns into that. So these are good selling features of it. And you know, not only does your customer get cost savings, but also we get better controllability. So now I, I'm going to step out and, and uh, introduce Zenobia to come in and talk about more of the T775 now. And then uh, during this whole seminar, though, I will be adding in uh, real-time experiences here that I've had in selling it and with you, um, the end user, the, the customer. So with that, uh, Zenobia, I will pass it on to you, and you can tell us what is this thing. And thank you, PJ. Uh, so what is this uh, T775? Well, uh, it's a simple to use standalone electronic controller. Uh, by standalone, we mean that it's non-communicating, so you don't have to worry about back net or, or lawn or having a, you know, a front, uh, front end uh, uh, to it. It's a standalone controller for standalone applications. Um, the fact that it's non-communicating makes it uh, very simple to use and, and very affordable as well. Uh, this C775 
Series 2000 was released in, uh, I think, mid-2007. Uh, and since then, uh, it's had really great success out in the field. Uh, it's by far our most popular uh, controller. Uh, our customers find it extremely easy to use and extremely uh, versatile. Uh, the T775 controller can not only control temperature, but we do have a model that can control humidity, pressure, or it can take any 0 to 5 volts DC, 0 to 10 volts DC, or any 4 to 20 milliamp uh, sensor input. Uh, we have select models that are available from zero, uh, four, or two relays, um, on-board relays. Uh, we have two models, which are our T775T and our T775L, which you can actually expand out uh, to, to 12 relays using our, our S-Bus expansion model. Uh, these models are available with up to two independent modulating uh, outputs. Uh, these are independent outputs, so you can configure them for however you like. Uh, it's like having almost two controllers in, in one control. Uh, these modulating outputs can be configured for 0 to 10 volts DC, a 2 to 10 volts DC, a 4 to 20 milliamp, and even a series 90 uh, output. Uh, you can choose uh, the T775 to meet your application uh, demands. We have standard models for basic heating and cooling applications. Uh, we have reset models, which we're going to talk about in depth in this uh, uh, training. We also have a boiler or chiller model, uh, which we'll, we'll also review. Next slide, PJ. Yeah, and I just want to add on the, the when it was redesigned, it, the older series was the old TAN, TAN square controller with the three brown buttons on top, or the four brown buttons on top, if you guys remember that. So I just want to point that out. This is the newer model. It looks much different. Its footprint is slightly, I think, smaller, Zenobia? Yes, that's than, correct. Than the older one. Um, but you're going to see today that it has really been improved. It's truly a different controller today. That's true. We were able to reduce, I think, the old controller, I think we had 38 SKUs, and I think we, uh, we decreased that. Uh, now we offer 19 SKUs, and five of those are just kind of redundant models because they're NEMA 4X. So we were able to reduce the number of OS numbers by adding a lot more features and versatility into the controller. Absolutely. Uh, this is a, a fully populated T775 uh, control board. It's just to give you an idea of the different inputs and outputs that are available on the various T775. Uh, so now all terminals are available on all models. Uh, most of T775 controllers do ship out with two sensor inputs. Uh, we do have a model that is available with three sensor inputs. Uh, as you can see, a fully populated model uh, would have two modulating inputs, as well as four onboard relays. Um, in addition, we, all T775s come with a digital input, which you can use for um, a setback. You can have an external time clock if you choose. Um, and below that, we have a digital output, uh, which can be found on our T775P or boiler model. And that's really used for alarming. Uh, so if you have the need for a low, high, or digital alarm, you can use that uh, digital output for that purpose. The T775 is powered by low or line voltage, uh, so you can use a 24 volt AC or 120 to 240 volts AC as well. Yeah. I think what, what this picture shows is really a, the fully popular. This shows you the true um, power of the new 775 with all of its new, the two new modulating outputs and the extra sensor inputs. Um, and the relays and digital input. I mean, the older series had this, but it depended on what model you got. We've, they've condensed that, but also added with this new T775 bus, we can add even more. So um, it, it certainly has become more powerful. 